everyone, Retro's YT here with you, and we are playing what is actually the first episode of my new Sims playlist. Um, I have actually been playing with some of these characters for quite some time. Liana, Roman, Ember, she got married. Her, her, uh, oh goodness, her maiden name was Roman, and she got married to Morgan Ember. So she decided to hyphenate her name. So her name is Roman Ember. Um, and these guys were actually, well, specifically Liana was the subject of my very first stream <laughs> back in December, Christmas time. I started, which was the collections challenge. Collections challenge meaning basically that we were to try and fill as many collections as we possibly could on The Sims. Now, I got pretty far in a lot of these. I, I mean, I'll put this up on the screen quickly here just so you can see um, some of them. But uh, as you can see, uh, we got pretty far, but there is a lot, a lot of things that you need to get for these um, collections. So we didn't quite finish, but uh, we officially completed three of them, but uh, we got really close on a number of other ones. It just turned out to be so, so many things that I, I just really felt like it was time to move on. So I, I didn't completely finish it. Maybe someday uh, we can go back. You know, I got a lot of these. But, it, yeah, maybe someday. I, I'm not going to complete, complete it. But what I'm going to do with the children, uh, they are going to be the subject of this next playlist that we're starting tonight. This is the first one. And in honor of the collections challenge, what I'm going to do with the two kids, or at least one of them, is I'm going to have them collect void critters so they can fill the void critters uh, collection for the family. So that's going to be my homage to the past stream. And now we are focusing on uh, Morgan and Liana's two children. Uh, by the way, if you want to see the collections challenge stream in full, it is on my YouTube account. It's under the same name, Retros YT. Um, you'll see at the Sims 4 Collections Challenge. Uh, fair warning there, it was my very first stream, so some of those first ones um, you can't see too well. They were dark. I got better as I went along, but it was my very first stream. So if you want to go back there and look at the Collections Challenge, you can. It's pretty long. I think there was 32 episodes in there, and some of them are long. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and start here with the children. Here, you know what? Let me have... This little dude go over to the mirror because, uh oh, I would like to show you. Uh, I want to show you them all. Your show you all their traits and stuff. Although it looks like he is very tired, so let's have him stop doing what he was doing. And I don't quite know why. It's not giving me some of the options here, so let me, um, I gotta put my changes on here. So, yeah, we're gonna put it on full screen, just so I can put, uh, cas.foldit mode, which if you don't know what that is, that basically means that, um, <laughs> that you can, yeah, there we go change anything you want in CAS, a create a sim, and I need to do that, and then I'm going to put bb.move objects on too. Uh, <laughs> well, as long as you guys can still see, I don't see why this matters, but um, give me a minute just to go in here. I want to show you what, uh, yeah, what we got. Okay, so this is Morgan and Liana's young son, and his name is Leaf. We named him, they named him after Leaf Erickson, the famous explorer, because, you know, they were collectors and they traveled. Uh, Liana was into archaeology. They did a lot of exploring. You had to explore everywhere to get the different collector's items, so wide range of things that we did there for the collections challenge, but, but this is Leaf. Um, run through his clothes real quick just so you can see what he looks like and have big plans for Leaf. Leaf 
is going to be a genius which matches perfectly with both of his parents. One is an archaeologist explorer and the other one was a magical scientist. Both of the kids ended up being magical sims, which I haven't explored yet. But uh, So he has glasses. He's kind of a cool nerd, if that makes any sense. Um, and he, his aspiration when he gets a little older here, I'd really like him to go to college. His ultimate aspiration is he is going to be the best tinkerer and robotics master. Um, that's my goal for him. So, yes, this is Lee. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, Morgan was magical. Liana was not. But both of the kids ended up being magical. So, yeah, there's Lee. Uh, you can see he has the whiz kid aspiration. He is a genius. And, of course, he's a magical sim. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's him. And the other child, the daughter, she's a little bit younger than Leaf. Uh, but this is Amelia, named after Amelia Earhart. Of course, everybody knows who she is. She was a world-famous lady um, pilot to go around the world. Uh, so this is Amelia. Uh, right now, we have her as a social butterfly trait or aspiration, I guess. Um, she's also very creative. My plan for her... For Amelia right now is that she is going to end up exploring the magical side of their heritage because I didn't really explore that in the collections challenge that part of Morgan's uh, history if you want if you will so um, she is going to be the much more sociable colorful um, you know character of this particular stream uh, so I tried to give her cool but very colorful outfits. I'll go through them quick here, but that has something to do with magic, as you can see. <laughs> She's cute. Um, yep. And so, yeah, that's... Uh, here, let me go through her clothing. Go through all her clothing. I'm not going to linger on them here. I just want to show you what she looks like. And I'm actually loving some of the kit clothes, the clothing that they have for the kids nowadays. I think that's very cool. So, yeah. But there's our two main sims we're going to be focusing on. Now, Morgan and Liana have had their run-through. Uh, again, if you want to go look at the Flexions Challenge, you're welcome to. But uh, we're focusing on the kids right now. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I want to show you their rooms because that's a big deal. I try to tailor their rooms based on their personality and their interests. Oops. Got a cord here. There we go. Sorry, I just gave it a second to load. Do, 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 do. Yeah, sorry for the blank there. I didn't think it was going to take this long to load, but here we go. Um. I think I might have accidentally turned uh, ob move objects off. There we go. Kaz dot whoopsie dot fold it mode. Yeah, I don't know if that one's on or off, but in any case, we're gonna save it, and I'm gonna move this to my other screen so I can actually <laughs> see what's going on on the Twitch. If anybody comes in to chat, um, Thursdays are kind of my wild card night. You know, I have. Uh, my regular streaming is on Friday and Saturdays on Twitch, but um, Thursdays I usually start getting antsy and really want to start streaming something, so it's kind of my wild card. I don't have a specific thing that I ever stream on Thursday nights, but I usually stream something. And tonight it happens to be my new Sim stream. So I'm not going to go super long with this because it is going on YouTube after this, and uh, I don't want to, you know, YouTube videos I try not to make terribly long, but what I could do is uh, break it up into two videos. That's possible, too. So, all right. Now, they're both sleeping, but let's go head up into Leaf's room. Uh, let me put his walls up so you can kind of see. Here's his room. He kind of has a blue and gray sort of color theme going on, but I made sure to give him a school project robotics 
which is going to be his big thing because as I said he's going to be my techie person my engineer mechanical engineer I've never explored that aspect of the Sims 4 yet so I'm pretty excited to actually see what, how this ends up so he has that he also has a school project electricity experiments you know because he's sciencey he's got um, I think this is like a chemistry lab uh, a mini chemistry lab and then he's got of course well it, one of these is the actual chemistry lab I, I get the two confused yeah beakers and bubble science set okay so that's for that and then he's got this one which is called the junior wizard starter kit so that would be for the magical side of things although I don't know how much he's going to do with that that's going to be more um, Amelia's thing his sister but he's got it in there he's got the dinosaurs because he is still a kid I also gave him some solar system school project again he is a, a nerd a cool nerd but he's got that he's also got this one which is the air pressure rocketry all that kind of stuff of course he had to have a bookcase and we got him a little desk with his computer because he's gonna need that okay on over to Amelia's room which is a little dark but actually that is showing off these gorgeous butterflies very well so i'm excited to um i'm excited to show you that i i am a huge butterfly fan so i thought these butterflies when i found them when i was designing her room is so cool so you can see that and these little critters that you see all over her walls very reminiscent of pokemon these are the void critters and i think i got one of every uh, void critter up on her wall. I did have, used to have this, this whole section here was one room and then I altered it when they both, you know, grew up in the children so that they can both, uh, you know, have their own space. But this is her room. She's got all the little boy critters up on the wall. She's going to be collecting those clearly. She's still got her little, um, tiny tot tree house, which is, uh, where she plays with dolls and stuff. She does have a violin here that one of them got for Christmas so that if she decides to do that she can she is the more creative of the two and this is her right now it's her honeycomb void critter holder which for obvious reasons she's going to put her little void critter cards in there probably going to have to get a lot more i'm not entirely sure i'd have to look and see how many void critter cards there are but she's going to do that in her toy box of course and she just got lots of really cute little colorful things you know in her room like the peacock and the bunny and her bed you know she's just the more social um outgoing of the two she's got her art table here where she can do that stuff a cute little frog on the floor and of course she has a computer desk just colors and happiness and um yeah so that's her right now and of course she's going to do her magical stuff here as they get older okay well let's switch back um let me get these walls down so we can actually see what we're doing there we go that's why I like to keep it. And yeah, so that's our characters. Oh, and there's the kitty, Spatula Magellan. <laughs> Spatula, I think, is the name he um, he came with when I got him, when uh, Liana adopted him, which I thought was an adorable name, so I wanted to keep Spatula. But Magellan, this is before we had the kids, Magellan, of course, after the Explorer. So that's the kitty. And he's done pretty good. I Most of the time, I guess, before the kids were born, uh, I had them on... Um, no aging because if, you, if you're doing something really long like a long stream as we're doing uh, where we're doing with the collections challenge you don't want your sims, sims to get old and die before you can get any of the collections completed so yeah Magellan is a very long lived kitty <laughs> so you know what maybe we can turn this uh, turn this little toy box around because you can't see the cute little face oh I don't think she can get it open well, I'll show you. Look, isn't that cute? Little kitty face. I guess we're going to have to turn it around. You just can't see the face. Whoopsie. I mean, you can't, um, she won't be able to open it if we, oh my goodness. <laughs> Couldn't get it turned around the right, the right way. But yeah, that's, I think her rooms are adorable. Both of their rooms, I think they're very, they suit them very, very well. So, um, while they're sleeping, we just pan around here. I'll show you a little bit of what's been going on uh, with the collections challenge house. I did build this house. Now some of it, I uh, used some of the rooms that you can buy. 
and then uh, I just tailored it, adjusted it and tailored it. But this color and the window coverings are one of the buy ones. But uh, she's got her collection uh, plaques up here. Um, oh, that was for the poster challenge. She completed the poster collection. Uh, the snow globe, she completed that one too. This one, My Sims, the little figurines. And what is this golden trilobite? Oh, the fossil collection. Okay, and then she's got her postcards. That was one of the collections. We didn't complete it, but that's the one she's got. Um, yeah, there, <laughs> there's a lot of the things that she had. The globe, of course, because that just makes sense. Um, kitty, there are some urns. They took a lot of pictures on their adventures because, as I told you, there were international, uh, you can't really see that very well, but uh, international travelers. <laughs> oh, that's so hard to see. I'm trying to get it close so you can see, but uh, this is a picture of the two of them together in Salvadora um, when she was doing her archaeology stuff. There's some really cute pictures they have up for their travels. That's weird. See the color is going weird like that? There, that's a little better. Now you can kind of see. Yeah, anyway, these are their pictures from Salvadora when they were still getting together. Very cute pictures and they were falling in love. Very sweet. And then uh, Morgan, the husband, he uh, became a scientist. There's a lot of uh, collections that you can only get if you're a scientist. So he's got some of his collections and stuff, his microscopic prints. You see those on the wall. Uh, some of the posters in the kitchen, like the pancake poster, which makes perfect sense, right? Why it would be in a kitchen. I love this frosty effect, right? On the uh, windows. Love it. I did build this house. I'm actually very, very proud of this house. <laughs> Let me go up and see if you can see it the whole way. Oh, you can't see it in entirety because, uh, there, you know, the roof and stuff up here. There is a roof, but just I'd have to uh, go out into exploring the worlds to show you completely. But I patterned this off a house I saw. Very proud of it. It's one of the very first houses I ever did. I built myself because I'm not a great builder, you know. But I, yeah, I really enjoyed building it. And right now it's got all these gorgeous Christmas lights on because we just had Winterfest. So, yeah. Um, the tower here is actually the butler's quarters. It's like a little, that's the sitting room for the butler. It has the stairwell, and down below that is the butler's bedroom. So, there's that. Um, and because, as I said, this is a collections challenge, basically, Liana and Morgan set up two floors, all of a collections museum. So... <laughs> As you can see, this was sort of uh, Morgan's area of the museum. It's got all his science equipment stuff here. It's got some of the aliens he found and some of his experimentations, his pictures. You know, um, I absolutely thought this was gorgeous. Um, it's, a, it's a statue. Or um, Here, I'll show you. Hold on. Look, it's a sculpture. A sculpture that lights up and I love this the birds I just thought it was really cool to put in there but as you can see we've got um, all the little collections a lot of this is Salvador stuff and insects and you know different artifacts they've collected on their um, their travels their collections bone dust we got everything over here so there's still some holes because I didn't complete everything but I wanted to show you around the museum a little bit look here's her uh, my sims trophies yeah she's got them all here the medals you know there's so many like I said so there's a lot whoops whoa what did I just do sorry about that <laughs> didn't mean to do that whoa come back sims I accidentally pushed there we go I pushed to shrink my my sims tab that was bizarre okay <laughs> All right, well, when it decides to come back, there we go. Okay, I'll show you the second floor of the museum. Uh, I thought this was really cool, too. This pillar goes the whole way up through the floor. So it kind of connects the two in the stairwell. So, yep, just uh, some more of her collections over here. Wait, is this where we looked already? Here, he can go to work alone. I should probably pause this while we're waiting. But, um, yeah, again, yeah, we were just looking at this one. Let's the butler's quarters but where what happened 
I guess maybe we just didn't look at the bottom floor of the museum. Is that what happened? There. Uh, yeah, okay. Somehow we skipped this this part. So yeah, this is the, I guess this would be the first floor of the museum. It's the second story of the house, but the first floor of the museum. But we got our shelves over here. One of them is a decorative egg collection, so we got a bunch of those guys here and over here. You can see all the fish he's got, all the crystals. Um, <laughs> simmies. Yeah, there's a lot of collections. This is a lot of work. It took me a lot of time to do this, guys. Uh, fossil collections. I have to show you because it was a lot of work. And snow globes, obviously. More Salvadora collections. Seashells. That's not a collectible. It just fit very well. But yeah, I think you can tell how long it took, took uh, Liana and Morgan to gather all these things, right? Yeah, it, it took a long time, but uh, I had to show you around there. And then, of course, I built the rest of the house and stuff. So, okay, it's New Year's Eve. Uh, why are you red? Let's head up here to double check on Leaf. Oh, he's at school already? Oh, okay. He went to school. He did his homework. He's a good boy. He, um, he does his homework as soon as he gets home from school. And it looks like Amelia is also at school. And she does an okay job. She just, um, you know, she's not as much into school as she could be. <laughs> That's the way to say it, I guess. I, I don't understand why he's not eating at school and going to the bathroom. But I guess maybe he just hasn't gotten around to doing that today. I wanted to see them off for school. But anyway, so hopefully, okay, he went to the bathroom. Hopefully they'll feed him at school. <laughs> it's just not lunchtime yet. Uh, yeah, let's have him study hard because he's got enough energy for that. And we'll just let her work normally. She could make friends, too. Actually, that wouldn't be such a bad thing. I'll let her do that. Okay. And unfortunately, while they're at school, we don't have much else to do yet at this point except for keep up on Liana. But, I mean, she doesn't, you know. <laughs> She's got uh, so many skill points and stuff that she does. There's not a lot that she needs to She can do whatever she wants. But... And now that they're not toddlers again, man, toddlers and babies on this uh, game are really tough. So we'll let uh, Liana practice her violin there if she wants. Oh, um, you can also see outside here. Um, sorry, it won't let me go up any further to show you the top. Oh, that's kind of the top of the tower. See? The tower in the middle. The porch on the front. The open... Uh, windows there for the side, some Salvadorian fountains. Did have two cow plants because they were part of the plants um, thing, but they died. They always die right away on me. Sirloin and A1 <laughs> were the two cow plants. And it's a little bit hard to see now because of all the snow, but um, plants were a huge, plants and gardening were a huge part of the collections because you had to breed plants and have so many of them. But you can kind of see through the snow here all the plants and stuff that she had out. She has um, pretty uh, significant gardens that she was selling stuff on. And it looks like a few things that I need to... Plants that fell off. She didn't harvest in time. So blackberries by the look. And plus, um, she, it, it was a rags to riches. Um, it was a rags to riches collections challenge, which made it more difficult and made it take a little bit longer. But, uh, but yeah, her plants literally were her main source of income for the longest time. So that's, uh, that's what's going on here. They have tons of money and all the money they made mostly, most of the money she's made has been, um, through her farming and her rags to riches stuff and her exploring and, uh, uncovering artifacts all those kind of things. She did start from scratch. And most of the collections she did before she even got married to Morgan. And then eventually, you know, she got married to Morgan because there's, like I said, there's some things for the collections that you can only get when you're a scientist. But most of this, she's, you know, she made on her own. She did very, very well for herself and worked her way up. They got lots of money now. Now the kids, we're not going to start the kids, obviously, with a lot of money. I just have them right now. Because they're still in the household. Avocado trees. Oop. 
Roses. Go supercell the roses. It's just for fun. I mean, you can come out here and dig and do that stuff. We're just waiting on the kids to get home. Uh, she. I mean, she already has, you know, all the diggy stuff she needs, like the stones and stuff. Oh, thank you. Congrats on your recent birthday. How you doing, kid? Needs amusement from low fun. Well, you're probably doing great at school, though. Yeah, he's doing excellent at school. I guess, uh, let's see. You're not going to slack off. You wouldn't really... We'll just, um, put him back to normal. Ooh, an orange topaz that, uh, Liana just found. And how about you, dude? You're at work? What's your problem? Promotion anxiety. Okay, well. You have you, uh... Yeah, you got plenty of, um... Plenty of rest, so go ahead and work hard. And if you work hard, you probably looking for it. Actually, I'm not sure. He's a mad scientist. Morgan made it all the way up to mad scientist, so I'm not sure if he even can get promoted. I don't know if he might be at the top of his uh, career right now. But 18th breakthroughs. Yeah, he's got... He's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, they just want to get promoted. But... Yeah, I, I actually uh, wondered if maybe I should have started the kids off as teenagers because that way they could be thinking about college. Um, so I might jump ahead. I might end up jumping ahead, but I wanted to show you the kids that we started off the kids, you know, with their interests and everything down here from the bottom and get those void critter, uh, that void critter collection up. All right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, she's doing good. She's, is she making friends? I think she's supposed to be making friends. Yeah, she is. Okay. Um, and he's stressed because he's, what, bored? I guess he's just too smart. <laughs> he's too smart for the school. I'm going to speed up time here so we can get them through. I mean, there's really nothing that Liana needs to do. So, um, we'll just speed up so we can get the kids home. Amelia has met Sans while at school, or Sans, Sans, however you like to say it. Um, yeah, yeah, Liana, you're fine. Just do whatever you need to do. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, a lot of their time is going to be sent in school, but it's a Friday, so we're going to have the weekend coming up around. Okay, Amelia is not the first C student. Whoops, C student at Landgrab Elementary, and she surely won't be the last. Wouldn't the weekend be a great time for her to bump her grades up? Probably. No, you don't need to come over. And you, my dear, you are confident. Must be doing pretty well at school. I'm assuming that's what uh, is going on there. I didn't see. One of his skills is already up to level three. Uh, he's a B student. Yep, he already improved his grades. That's the first day of school, basically. And he's already improved his grades. No, I don't want you to play with dolls. How about you come into your room and uh, play with your your kits and stuff that I got you. Have you go in here and experiment. Uh, yeah, my walls aren't quite right. Here. Yeah, come on in, kid. Actually, I think I'd rather you work on this one than the magic, so I'll go over here to this one. Start getting his fun up. I believe this will get his fun up. Dude. There he goes. <laughs> okay, and Amelia, what you doing, girl? Alright, well, why don't you go potty? Alright, and then you can take a bubble bath. That'll be fun. Take a bubble bath. Get your needs up, girlio. And I think you just get leftovers. You can get leftovers for dinner tonight. Uh, where are you? I don't know why you're playing with dolls. You're pretty grown. But anyway, <laughs> we'll have her go to the restroom. She can do whatever she wants. We don't really need to worry about her. So, 
Why are you just standing there? What is happening? There she goes. And why she's moving so slowly. All right. Anyway, I got her taken care of. Let's see uh, how much you can get done here at your scientist table. <laughs> yeah, for a first, for a, something that's going on my YouTube stream, this is going to be a little bit longer. But like I said, I had to introduce the history of the family and all that kind of good stuff. So that's why it's going to be a little bit longer. Oh, hey, Martin. I'm sorry I didn't notice right away. I did listen to some oh, Billie oh. Eilish this week. And I really, really like her, and I noticed that um, I, one of her songs I know and love, uh, The Party's Over, and I just wasn't connecting it with her. But I knew I, I knew the name sounded familiar, and I actually love that song. I also love The um, Party's Over. It's a very sad song, but... Oh, yes! Well, I built the house. I built the house, and I decorated it. So, you know, I didn't design the statues and stuff, but I built the house... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you coming in right away. I was looking at the Sims, but yeah, there's, uh, yeah, I don't know if, uh, let me see here. But yeah, it kind of shows the top of the house there. You can see the little pinnacle and stuff in the point. Up here at the top in this tower is the, uh, butler's quarters. So she's got, like, a little sitting room in here. The butler. Here, hold on. Yeah. There's the butler's sitting area. And then she goes down the stairs. Oh, no, it's a boy right now, a guy. That's her butler. And that's the butler's quarters. He's sleeping in there right now. And then the rest of the house, of course, you know, self-explanatory. I actually went through the whole house and uh, described it to everybody here at the beginning of the stream. So, yeah, I built it. Um, I'm very proud of it. It's my first huge, uh, <laughs> my first huge build. So I'm pretty proud of that. Wow, why are you so smelly? Goodness. Goodness, Leaf. I'm glad you came in, Martin. Nobody else was here at the beginning. I was doing my explanation, so I'm glad you came in. Yeah, I um, I listened to Billie Eilish. I put on one of her albums um, the night we were talking about it. I really enjoy it. She's very different style, but I really like it. She's a little mournful, a little um, soulful. She is a little edgy, and some of her songs are just fun. I really did, I really did enjoy it. I'm glad you, you um, mentioned it to me. I appreciate that. And I like, um, I really like alternative music. So, yeah, I'll be listening to her some more, for sure. Okay, you go ahead and get your bath, kid. Um, looks like Morgan just came home. Oh, you're all right. You're not doing so bad, dude. Dude, my dude. Everybody's going to have leftovers for dinner. Unless the butler decides that he's going to make us a meal. <laughs> Because none of my dudes, no, don't get chips. None of my dudes feel like cooking right at the moment. Although, Morgan here has 10. He's got full skill level on cooking. But, yeah. Oh, dude, you're like standing on top of each other. <laughs> all right, anyway, they got some gourmet uh, pasta primavera they're eating. You're all purple and playful. Well, that very much fits you. Why are you in your brother's room? Uh, I don't think he would appreciate that. So, why don't you go and, uh, you could put the drawing in your inventory. Um, is this the magical thing? It must be. Experiment on your magical kit. And then you can, like, go chat with people. Chat with people online. Chat in kids' chat room. There you go. Doodly doo dude. All right. Go potty. Feel like a champion? He's very proud of himself for getting his grades up. I'm sorry, Martin. I feel like... It, I hope you weren't sitting there too long while I, while I wasn't paying attention. I was, <laughs> I was looking at the game and, instead of looking at the chat, and I shouldn't have been. But All right. Amelia acquired the mental skill. She's really more about um, magical stuff, but that's okay. Yeah, come get some cereal. Totally fine. The good days. Those carefree toddler days of yesterday were the good ones. Good grades. Succeeding in school makes young Sims particularly happy. Yay, nicely decorated. Killer school day. If only there was some way someone could rate leave school day, it would definitely be a 10. Well, I thought this was going to get you some creativity, so... Make winter crafts. I don't know, just draw. Draw shapes. 
Here, you don't need to get your mental skill up too, too much. Uh, play an instrument. Oh, you can do that too. You are creative. You've got your little violin over here you can practice. When you're all done with the other stuff I just told you to do. What? I didn't cancel out the chat room. What's up with that, man? What? What happened? She was complaining about something. So we're going to have her draw. Practice shapes. What's the matter with them? Um, why can't she get on here? Ch kids chat room. I had a little trouble when I was putting this stuff down, too. Um, because it seemed like something about the computer was overlapping or something. Um, let me see if I can fix this for her. No, it's supposed to be doing that. Hmm. I mean, I could change where it's at. I could put the whole thing over here. And then just move. Here, let's try that. Move the little uh, dollhouse toy thing here. And the little gnome over here, if we need to. There, and she can do it that way. There. If that'll help you, use your chat room, girly girl. See, now I got that song stuck in my head. The party's over. <laughs> yeah, draw your shapes. And you can practice your violin, but then I want you to go in the chat rooms. You're a very sociable girl. Whoa, why are you in bed already? Here, hold on a second before you go to bed. Fill up the kitty bowl. And... How about you do your homework? Is your fun up? Oh, not entirely. Well, uh, I keep messing up my walls here. Here, go up and, um, oh, I can never remember which is which. Do this one. Experiment. That'll get your fun up. You don't need to go to bed yet. It's Friday night, man. You can stay up late. And she is just drawing away. It's actually not a bad drawing for a little kid, so she's got some talent. Have to put that on the fridge when she's done. <laughs> yes, man. Go experiment. Get your fun up, man, Mr. Confident Dude. Do -do -do -do. Oh, I got that in my head. I wish I could I could play it in the background while I'm playing, but of course copyright stuff. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't go over too well. When I'm not streaming, I always have music or something in the background. Music or a movie or something. Experiment away, my boo. My boy. Yes. Experiment. Okay. Um, when you're done experimenting, do your homework. No sense not getting a head start on it, right? Let him do that after he's done experimenting. Okay, Amelia, what you doing? Oh yeah, you got your violin out. Again, it's Friday night, so you got plenty of time to do this stuff. Now see, now that I move this over, it kind of looks lopsided. Uh, maybe I should just move this back a little bit further. There, and she can still play with it. I got move objects on. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's not your fault if your Wi-Fi isn't working. I'm glad you stopped in. Yeah, I, I tried to make their bedrooms really cute and stuff and to match their personality. I really did. These are the little boy critters on the wall. They're uh, collectibles. They're like Pokemon cards. See, here's some of the actual cards and the pictures. But, yeah. But, uh, you know, I'll be doing this again, I'm sure. And uh, if you want to, also, I'm going to put them up on YouTube. So you can look at the um, you can look at the the streams there. But I'm glad to see you for a little bit. Really happy you stopped in, Martin. Oh, you're really happy now. Look at you. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're gonna be awful tired when you're done here, though. You're probably gonna have to go to bed, but... Yeah, I love my two new Sims. I'm pretty excited. It took a while for me to get to this point. I, I had the idea of using the two kids and focusing on them for quite some time, but I had to get them to the point where we could do it. <laughs> so, yeah. And I think I, I might end up closing the stream down pretty soon, just because, again, it's going to be a pretty long one for a first episode and a, a playlist for YouTube, because that's where it's going. So, uh, yeah. Or I could just break it into two videos and kind of hang out for a while longer. I could always do that, too. Um, I'm enjoying playing with them. Yeah, yeah. Get your little mathematical or your scientific genius stuff. You don't need to chat with your mom, don't you? <laughs> you don't need to chat with your mom. Just do your homework. I'm busy, mom. Go away. <laughs> Here, do your homework, and then you can go to sleep after you're done with your homework. Oh, boy. Yeah, beginning violin. Gotta love those violin lessons. If, if you ever knew someone that played violin as a kid, you know. <laughs> Sounds great, doesn't it? <laughs> but she'll get there. It's ironic because uh, I actually, earlier tonight, I was watching uh, my niece's uh, orchestra concert. Now, she doesn't play violin. My, my old, eldest niece plays the violin. The one that I was watching tonight, though, her orchestra concert, she plays the... Uh, uh, no, it's not a viola. Oh, my gosh! Why can't I think? The, the uh, uh, cello! Yes, the one I was watching tonight plays the cello. And I was watching her... Um, <laughs> her concert. Okay, sweetheart, you're pretty exhausted. Well, Martin, don't forget to come back tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's Friday night. It's our throwback Friday. So, uh, tomorrow night, I haven't decided what we're going to be doing yet. I might do a second episode of my Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. We could do that. And then on Saturday, I believe you guys would like me to play Saturday morning Punch Out some more. So yeah, definitely come back for those things. Okay, that's enough violin for now. Uh, you know, you don't even need to chat. Just go to bed. Okay. Leaf! Okay, Mom, I'm trying to do my homework. What are you doing to me here? Or are you helping with it? I mean, what is that? Beg for... What was that? Listen to Inside Joke. I thought it said beg or something. You're a little hungry, although you ate a snack after school. Okay, Mom, you need to leave. You're sitting on my bed, man. Go to the bathroom or something. Here. Did you, did you even start your homework as she was sitting there talking to you the whole time come on mom what's up with that liana go away i told you to go to the bathroom go do that <laughs> i need to uh change the door on his room so that only he can get in okay leaf just finished his homework so hold on a second let's uh there leaf lock door for everyone but leaf there we go he would like to do that and then you're over here so Amelia is gonna lock door for everyone but Amelia okay all right plus theoretically speaking if they had somebody coming into their collections museum over here they wouldn't really want everybody walking through their bedrooms so we'll fix that okay both kids are sleepy sleeping sleep Yep, you're sleeping. You're going to need to get up to eat, though. But you're happy. Here, why don't you go finish? You never did completely finish all of your artifacts and stuff. So, authenticate artifact. Dad is also sleeping, but he's about ready to get up. So, Morgan. And take a shower when you get up. Go to the restroom. Do your thing. Yep, you had a great day at work. I don't know how much more higher you can go. Maybe you'll just be a mad scientist. Tomorrow is the beauty of a friend of mine. 
Oh, okay, that's all right. You know, life happens. It's all cool. It's it's okay. But again, um, it's it'll still be on my uh, my channel, like past streams, so you can watch it, and it'll also be on YouTube. So if you'd like, you can go to my YouTube channel, and watch it that way, just to catch up. Right, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the Sims. It, it fascinates me that the Sims is so interesting. I my theory, part of my theory of the Sims Four is that if you're a control freak especially like i would like to be <laughs> other people's lives are so much easier to control i know that sounds funny but it's just it's an ordered way that you can control the world and control what happens you know if something sad is happen happening you can make something happy happen you know <laughs> so it's um it's a creator's world basically uh, it's a story maker mode for me you know i'm a writer so i can make their stories pretty much whatever i want to so that's my theory but I know, right? It's just something fascinated about it. And I, lo I love the graphics and stuff, and too. It's just, it's a fun game. Sims has always, uh, I've always been a game that I, I just absolutely love. So, hopefully, um, oh, Leaf got scared of something under his bed. Are you trying to talk to it? Yeah, I used to, aw, oh, he's talking to the monster under his bed a smart dude he's trying to make it so it's not so scary leaf just made friends with the monster under his bed he can't wait to find out more about it oh yeah that's totally a scientist kid <laughs> read under the covers that sounds like fun too what are you thinking about diapers for dude <laughs> yeah this is a this is a great game <laughs> uh hopefully soon they're going to be coming out with um the Sims 5, but yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of discussions we could have on EA and how they, they do things for <laughs> you know, they come out with a game and then they have you buy all these packs for so much money and but, you know, I'm just, I've got it and I have fun playing, so here, watch channel, let's see I don't know so if it, I don't know, it doesn't matter what you watch just get your fun up, dude I know, right? Uh, and some of the toddler, I, I don't have them on here now as toddlers, but uh, and if in the, at the end of my um, collections challenge, I had the two kids as toddlers. You see some of the cute outfits and stuff they can wear. Adorable. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yes. Our international travelers globe with a drink. It's great. All right, dude. Yep. What are you watching? <laughs> He's watching some other Sims having a eating contest, I guess. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm glad you're... Are you reading under... Yeah, you're reading. Okay. Well, you're pretty sleepy now, so yeah, go ahead and go to bed. You, you got this. You're already sending yourself to bed. And you're good. No issues with monsters for you. How's the kitty doing? The kitty's good, I think. A little hungry. Got to pee a little bit, but... Here, why don't you go say hi to the kitty? Uh, brush. Kitty just needs some attention. Yeah, I love all the graphics. It's like a sort of cre uh, controlling your own cartoon, sort of, you know, because the animation, you can just make your own story. I love it. Anything that gives me an open format that I can use to create a story, um, so there. Okay. All right. Well, good night. Um, have a good day of school tomorrow. And I'll see you. Um, I don't know. If you can't come this weekend, that's fine, too. I'll see you next week. But thanks again for coming in, Martin. I appreciate it. And I'll see you later. It is a lot of fun. Thank you. I think so, too. This is one that I absolutely love. So, yeah. And YouTube has the other streams. Um, sip stuff. So, if you want to, you can go check those out. But... Thanks again for coming in. I appreciate it. Um, okay, well, you need to do something else for fun, Liana. Here, go up. Why isn't your archaeology stuff fun for you? It certainly should be. Oh, here, you... Oh. Quartz Skull from the... What is that? Artifacts Association. Oh, okay, you need to mail that back to them. Mail back artifact. Yeah, she's gotten good enough at her archaeological steel now skill now that um, she has museums and stuff sending her stuff 
and if she authenticates these items for her, the Quartz Skull, see the Artifacts Association, they send her 3705 bucks. So yeah, she's actually making quite a bit of money from her archaeology skill. Okay, well, you still got some artifacts. Here, do this one. Okay, you're good. Uh, it's morning. Why don't you make us all some breakfast? Ooh. Dude, what's the butler doing? Everything is gross out here. Well, somebody made some pancakes. Polish. Polish the counter. Gross. Oh, what tradition was complete? What did you do? Oh, the decorating. Okay. Because <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. Okay. You're authenticating. That's one of the things, too. It's just there's so many things you can do with their characters in this. It's just... Love it. Unauthenticate. Well, authenticate it then, silly. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. Go downstairs and eat some pancakes. Unless your dad ate them all. <laughs> all right. Well, then. Here, get some leftovers. Or you could have some cereal on a Saturday morning after all. You're good. You just need to go to the bathroom. Oh, no, don't get cake. You don't want to have cake for breakfast. Here, have some cereal. It's Saturday morning. Go watch cartoons. Have some... Where's the cereal? There it is. Oh, he's happy because of the decorations. New Year's Eve de decorations. Okay. Oh, Morgan has a new quirk. He's, uh, he's become a famous scientist, so when you become famous at all, you get these quirks. Like, he has a refined palate. He only wants to eat um, excellent food. Yeah, Morgan, I don't, I don't really know what else to do with you, because you're, you've got everything you need. Well, of course, you have a bunch of these points left over. Let me see. What can we give you for that? Because um, it's been quite some time since you've uh, used any. Let's see. Mentor. Mentor interaction becomes available and they can help other sims. Uh, speed reader we already got. Very visual entrepreneurial. Oh, he already has that. Mm. Incredibly friendly. Independent. Oh, he doesn't really need that. Never get embarrassed. Oh, uh, well carefree. Never get tense. That'd be nice. Um, steel bladder would be really nice. Shameless. Never get embarrassed. I mean, he's a scientist. Why would he, you know? I'll do shameless. That's a big ticket item for him. I mean, technically, because he's a renaissance sim, a pantologist, he wants to get another career. But I want to get him to the top of this career. I mean, I don't know exactly where he's at with it, but I figure that scientist has to be pretty up there, right? Okay. You're still working on that thing, huh? Okay. Oh, he needs to nap. I guess he didn't sleep very well last night. Well, here. Before you go to sleep, come on over and go to the restroom. And then you could take a nap. I guess the monster woke you up last night, so you didn't get as much sleep as you might have. But at least you made friends with them. Okay, so... Amelia says, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do now to start getting ready for being a ninja when I'm growing up? Uh, start practicing your hiding. Affects emotional control. I, I don't think... She's not a hider. <laughs> She's a very outgoing, out there kid. So get a ninja outfit. Affects them to be doing ninja outfit. Leanna has advised Amelia, affecting her character values. Empathy increases, manner decrease. That that fits her, I think. Okay. Um, Amelia, where are you? You're going to get some breakfast, I guess. Okay. And Leanna finished analyzing her artifact. 
So mail back the artifact and get some more money. Not that you need it, but go ahead and do it. Why didn't you get fun for that? What the heck, man? Whose painting was this? Was this a... Uh... Oh yeah, it was his, but he doesn't need it. So here, go ahead and scrap the painting. You get some fun up that way. You can go ahead and um, paint. What's that? You want to upgrade an object. Well, you don't really need to do that. Ooh, mathematical diagram. Cool. Okay, Morgan is, what are you doing? Playful shape. He is trimming the bonsai bush. Prune shape. Oh, he's doing a playful shape over there. So how about you do, do a waterfall shape over there. Okay, kids, you're taking a nap. Amelia is down here eating your peas. Good for you, girl. Eat your healthy peas. Everything's going great so far. Um, I feel like some of their like their uh, behavior, character values, haven't really done a lot. Uh, he's he's done relatively good on his empathy and his responsibility. His emotional control isn't great. His manners are just neutral. Same with his conflict resolution. So, but he was a happy toddler. Let's see. She doesn't have a lot of anything. I had more time with uh, Leaf than I did her. She's younger. Now, when I wake up, I'll have the parents spend some time with them. And, uh, yeah. Teach them some stuff. But right now, they're still waking up. I guess just by default, we're still paying some attention to Morgan and Liana because they're in the same house, but... Yeah, you keep painting and then come out and supercell your flowers. Yeah, so this episode is actually about twice as long as a normal episode. But, just wanted to play with my sins here, get him off to a good start. And let's see. Frame canvas. I could sell to collector or list on Plopsy. I'll sell to collector. And then she can go to the bathroom and she's going to need to eat. So we'll get you good Sure, eat the sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know who was supposed to eat it, but. And you're doing fine. What is that? Oh, that's the playful thing that he. <laughs> yeah, trimming the birds, right? <laughs> okay, let me just get them all uh, good. No, you don't need to play dolls when you get up. Take your nap and then uh, play with your robotics. And we'll have you. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be on their computer. You know what? I need to put a security password on here. This is the adult's computer. Not that they're going to be doing anything strange with it, but you know, the kids have their own computers. They don't need to be on the adults. Uh, where's the secure? There it is. Security settings. Uh, lock computer for. Um, you can't really set it for just one of them. Well, here, just do everybody about Liana because, uh, you're the only one that really uses it. You would think that Morgan would use it too. Him being, um, yeah, go on your own computer, kid. <laughs> here, go, uh, you have a computer in your own room that you can use. Here, come over here. And you can chat in the kids' chat room and have a good old time. All right. And Little Leaf is working on his robotics. And look at his responsibility go up from that. That makes me so happy. 
It makes my heart happy. Okay, guys. Well, I, I wasn't going to make it a terribly long stream tonight because it is episode one introduction of our stream. But uh, if you are watching or you have watched, I hope you really do uh, like the like the video. And if you could, um, yeah, drop me a follow here, guys. I'll be back on again. I'm sure to do more streams of this and other things, of course. Uh, tomorrow night, Friday night, like I mentioned earlier, is Friday throwback night. So we'll be doing some kind of retro game. Um, I, ha I still have some Nintendo games that I'm uh, thinking about playing. And one in particular I'm actually thinking I might do tomorrow night. Uh, one we haven't done before. Um, so yeah, throwback night tomorrow night. And then Saturday, Saturday morning, we're going to be doing Punch-Out. The original Nintendo version of Punch-Out. And then Saturday afternoon, we got our Sims 4 and, of course, our Sturdy Valley on a, a Saturday evening. So that's what's coming up. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hey, drop me a follow. I'd appreciate it, guys. And also, of course, check out my YouTube channel under the same name. I got a lot more content over there. And we have the original Sims 4 stream that I did, the Collections Challenge. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Retros YT signing out.